Okay, welcome. This week's video is about subtracting using the bridging strategy. The bridging strategy is a really important strategy to learn to move to the next level. It's a really, little bit difficult, but if you learn it, it can really help you out to start subtracting some really, really difficult numbers. Okay, so what is the strategy? This strategy is basically used to subtract numbers to the nearest 10 and then to subtract the remaining part. Now, I know that sounds really confusing and we're going to go through it, but I want you to keep that in mind. Okay, because if at the moment, if you're using the counting back strategy to solve, solve subtraction, that's really great, but we need to learn some more strategies if we're going to move up to the next level. So let's get started. Okay, well here's our first question which is 12 take away 4. Now I know most of you would have used the counting back strategy to solve this where you put 12 in your head and then you go back 4 on your fingers and you count back 11, 10, 9, 8. Now that's great, that's the right answer and that will definitely give you the right answers but not necessarily once it gets a little bit harder. Once it gets a little bit harder you're going to need to know some more difficult strategies in order for you to keep solving more and more difficult questions. So one of those strategies is the bridging strategy which we're doing today. Now if you remember from the start they said the first thing you need to do is try to get this number here back to the nearest 10. Now the number 12 we know that the nearest 10 is actually going back to to 10 itself. So how many more, how many do we need to do to get back to 12? Now this number in this column is the easiest way to figure out how many you need to go back. So we can see here, the, the 2 here, that's how many we need to go back. And so we want to get back to 10. So we go back 2 and we get back to 10. Alright? So the 2 here that we took off, we, got to, we have to take that off this number. So we do 4 take away 2, which will give us 2. And that's how many more we need to take off at the end. We do 10, take away 2, equals 8. Now I think that might have sounded a little bit confusing, and even just saying it makes me feel like it's a bit confusing. So let's go through it a little bit more so I can explain to you what it looks like. Here's an example of a number line, and this is going to show you what I was trying to explain. So you can see here we have 25, take away 6. Now the number here we're trying to get back to is we're trying to get back to 20. So, okay, we're at 25, we need to go back to 20. So we need to go, we start from 25, which is right here, and we need to go back to 20. So we can jump 5. So we jump all the way back 5. All right, and now we're back at 20. But we've gone back 5, but we needed to go back 6. So how many more do we need to go back? If we've gone back 5, we need to go back 6. Well, you need to go back one more. So you can see here, if you're on 20 and you go back one more, the answer is 19. Okay, let's try another question on the same page. What if I did 52 take away 3? Alright, we start from 52, which is right here, and we need to take away 3. Now, the first thing we said is we need to take the 52 back to the nearest 10. So 52 to the nearest 10, we can see here is 50. Okay, and how many do we need to go back? 2. So we jump back 2. Alright. So we've gone back 2, but we said we need to go back 3. So how many more do we need to go back? Well, if you did 3 take away 2, you would realise that we need to go back 1 more. So we go back 1 more, and the answer is 49. Was that a little bit too confusing? Maybe we should try one more. Alright, so let's try one more. Let's try a question, maybe 31 take away 6. Alright, so we, grab the, we look at the first number, and we say how many do we need to go back we bridge back to the nearest 30, so, sorry, the nearest 10. So from 31, all we have to do to get back to the nearest 10 is just to go back 1. So we've gone back 1, but we needed to go back 6, right? So you do 6, take away how many do we have here? 1, which means we have 6 take away 1 is 5. So we need to go back 5 more. So we're on 30, and we can go back 5 more. Now I know my friends of, t friends of 10 means if I'm on 10 and I go back 5, I go back... 5 here, which means my answer is 25. Okay, now I'm not saying this is easy. It's a really, really tough strategy to learn, and it's not going to be one we learn overnight. But if we keep practicing it, we should definitely start to make improvements in the next few weeks. Let's have another look. All right, so here you can see I've clearly drawn over here we have 45. So you can see there's 10, 20, 30, 40, and we have five ones here. Okay, 45, and we're going back 7. How many more do we need to go back straight away? We need to bridge back to the nearest 10, which means we need to go back 5 so we can get to 40. So let's just quickly cross off the 5. All right? Now we're on 40. Okay, but we've already gone back 5. We've gone back 5. We need to go back 2 more. So if we just cross off these 2, we go back, we go back 2 more, 
and now we have 10, 20, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38. Okay, so the answer is 38. If you found this way a lot easier, in class when we're learning about it, maybe you might ask me if you want to use the tens blocks and the ones blocks. And if you want to use that, especially when we're just getting started, that's a great way to do it, just so you can actually see what you're trying to do. All right? So now I'm going to give you two questions to do. And when I give them to you, I'm going to ask you to press pause and try to solve them yourself. And then when you're finished doing them, I'm going to get you to press play and see if you got the right answer, okay? Okay, so the question that I want you to solve is 21 take away 5. So I'm going to get you, in, I'm going to give you a few seconds to press pause, and then after you press pause, I'm going to get you to press play again and see if you got the correct answer. Okay, so pause your video now. Okay, hopefully now you have done your question and finished it off, and we can go through it together. So, 21 take away 5. Now, how do we get back? How do we bridge back from 21? Well, we need to go back 1 to get to 20. So from 21, we need to go back. If we're on 21 here and we go back to 20, okay, then how many more do we need to go back? Well, if we took 1 away from the 5, we should still know that we need to go back 4 more. So you should go back from 20, go back 4 more, which is 16. So your answer should have been 16. I hope you all got it right. If you didn't get it right, that's okay. You might want to go back and try again and see how you go. Or you can just wait and do question two. Okay, well, here's question two, 42, take away five. Once again, I'm going to get you to pause your video and see if you can solve this and then press play once it's finished. Okay, pause your video now. Okay, let's see if we can solve it. 42, take away five. We're on 42 and we need to go back five. So let's firstly go back 2 to get to 40. So we're going to go back 2, which will get us to 40. All right. But now how many do we need to go back to go back 5? We've already gone back 2. So if we do 5 take away 2, it means we still have to go back 3 more. So we're going to go back 3 more. So back 3. I know my friends are 10, so I know if I'm going back from 10 I go back 3, I should be at the 7. So it should be 37. So my answer here is 37. Now once again, it's not easy. It's not an easy strategy to learn, but these are the sort of, the sort of questions we need to just keep practicing and practicing until we start to get the hang of it. All right, I'm going to add a third question in, but if you found these first two questions hard, it's probably best you don't try the third one. All right, but if you found these two questions easy, here's a question for those of you who think that you can push yourself a little bit further. Okay, the last question, 32 take away 36. Now you can have a go at it and see how you go and press pause and then you can come back and solve it. If you don't know how to do it, then you can just wait for me and I'll try to go through it. Okay, so now that you've had a go at it, let's see if we can solve it. So this question is a little bit difficult because actually the second number here is double digits. So you need to go back the tens and then you need to go back the ones. So the first thing we do with this question is we split the 36 into a 30 and a 6. We split the tens away from the ones. So firstly, let's do 92 take away 30. Now, we've been practicing in this class to go back by tens. We just count back off the decade three times. So you go back 82, 72, 62. So our new answer is... 62, and we still need to go back 6 more. So 62, take away 6. Now, if we bridge back through 10 for this number, we should see that we can get the right answer. So we need to go back from 62, we need to go back to the nearest 10, which is 2. So we go back 2 to get to 60, and then after we subtract the 2 from the 6, we need to can see that we need to go back 4 more. So we're on 60, and we go back 4, and so the answer is 56. Now, that was a bit of a tricky one, but I hope that you got it right. Okay, so let me know how you felt about the video. If you felt like this video was too hard, you might want to comment underneath and say, Mr. West, I thought this video was a little bit difficult. If you thought that it was helpful, then make sure you say that. And if you thought that it was a little bit too easy, then that's also something you can let me know about. Okay, and I'll try to go through things a little bit more. Next week, I might use, try and learn about a different strategy. Um, but I hope that you learned something. So thank you for listening.